my name is Kelly Barnes, and I'm, what is your name? Kevin Miller. Okay, Kevin. So tell me what you're doing here today. I am the IBCA head judge for this event. Uh, IBCA is a sanctioning body that the Livingston Chamber chose to do their event. So what we do is uh, we run the judging areas. For them, okay. Uh, they sanction their IBCA as a director for IBCA as well as a head judge. I work with the chamber for months and months and months getting prepared for this event. Hey, how many people are here today? How many groups? We have 51 teams. 51. Is that good for a first it's year? It's unprecedented. It really is. Uh, the teams have come out, shown great support. Last night we had 30 turn-ins for their open, which is unbelievable. Today we had, uh, we had scheduled 28 turn-ins for beans. We, uh, we ended up having 27, which is another great turnout. Uh, Teams are uh, practicing their social distancing very well. Everyone in here is doing their part. Uh, John has taken this very seriously. Uh, the chamber's taking it seriously. We're doing everything we can to make this a successful event back here. That's good. What do you attribute the good turnout? Do you think people are just tired of being home, or do you, is it a good no, location, uh, or what do you think? In IBCA, we have a point here, uh, and this is the last weekend for our points. So a lot of teams are chasing points to be cooker of the year in IBCA. We have three events going on this weekend. Uh, we have one up in North Texas, one down in Seguin, Texas, and one here. So these teams are spread out, and they're trying to win the same for Grand Champions to, to hit their points. Also, really, to be honest with you, you have a great local turnout here. On my 99, my XL form teams, I would say probably over half the teams are local in this area, which really? is great support for your area. Cook-offs, uh, I look at them like a family reunion. All these teams, they know each other. They travel the state of Texas, uh, and, and they get to visit with everybody. Right now, it's kind of hard to do that because of what we're doing with social distancing. But it's like we socialize on Facebook and all this, but it's really when you get together here, a lot of us will get together on a Saturday night after the cook-off, and we have potluck dinners, and we all get together and visit. So it's really like a big gathering of people. Uh, and, and it's fun. So what's on the menu tonight? Today we have, uh, at noon, 12 noon, we'll have chicken that the teams turn in. They'll have to turn in two fully jointed chicken halves. Uh, and then at 1.30 p.m. will be ribs. They turn in nine pork spare ribs. And then at 3 o'clock they'll be turning in their brisket. And that is going to be nine full slices of brisket. Uh, so uh, that's IBCA sanctioned meats. Uh, in order to sanction with us, you have to require those meats in your belt. Uh, those are the only categories that count for points for Grand Champion. The other one, the ancillaries, that's just the jackpot categories that the Chamber puts on or anyone else. Um, and it's a good fundraiser for them when the teams participate. So it's a great turnout here. That's really good. good. What is your position again? I am the IBCA head judge for this event. I'm also the Region 2 director for IBCA. My co-director, Rob, is over there doing scores. Uh, she's assisting me today. She's also a head judge. Uh, so we are the directors for this area. We handle about 65 to 70 cook-offs a year. Uh, 